Hi everyone and welcome back to Chef's Seats. Today we're going to be making some super tasty homemade meatballs. And this classic Italian American recipe is going to make you feel like you're back in the mother country. And just like always, only thing we're going to need are a few simple ingredients. So let's get started. Now this meatball recipe has minimal knife work. Only thing we're going to have to do is chop up this onion a little bit, only half an onion, and roughly chop these garlic cloves. Yes, that's right, they've already been peeled. And the beautiful thing about this is we're going to put this in a little food processor to speed this whole process up. Now what I like to do is start putting all my liquid ingredients first. The eggs and milk or heavy cream, whichever you prefer. Heavy cream is just going to make it a little bit moister. Followed with our onions and garlic. This is going to need the most breaking down so I add this at the beginning of the process. Now that we got this in, just pop the lid on, give it a quick blitz and time to add some more in. Lid off and now we just add a handful of parsley. There you go. Don't worry about it. I have recipes all measured out at the end of this video for you. And let's see how much Parmesan cheese we could shove on into this bad boy. There we go. I love filling up this little blender. It's just so fun. <laughs> Pop the lid on. Give it a quick little blitz again. Boom boom. And like now, I like to finish with our panko breadcrumbs. This is going to be a really nice binding agent for the meatballs. And just another quick blitz and we're good to go. See how easy that was? And see how quick it is? That's right, Chef's Seats, we're going to make it quick, fast, and easy, and super tasty for you. Now let's grab a mixing bowl and toss our veal and our beef right on in. There you go, all on in, all on in, that's right. Now what we like to do is to add seasoning part. So this right here is some salt, and instead of using fresh black pepper, this is gochugado, Korean pepper flake, which is going to add a whole other dimension of flavor to it. I think you're really going to love it. I'm actually addicted to this stuff. Now that we have our salt and pepper mixture in there, let's just add all of our spice blend. There you go. All that flavor, all that flavor is in there, look at that. Make sure you get it all out. There you go. Now at this point, just get your hands on in there and start mixing. No need for any spatulas or spoons. You know, get your hands in there and get really feel, mush it on in. This is going to take a little while, but you're going to work it through. There you go, keep on mixing. And this is going to loosen up a little bit, so what I like to do at this time is put this in a refrigerator and it's going to help the balling process of the meatballs. They're just going to be a little bit firmer, the meat. Boom! Meatballs done. Okay, now what we need to do is just toss these bad boys in the oven 500 degrees. I know it sounds like it's hot, but 500 degrees is very needed for 10 minutes. And these are 3 ounce balls. So just let this ride and gain all that color and flavor and caramelization. There you go. After 10 minutes, be careful when you open that oven because that is ripping hot. Alright, pull these bad boys out. And check that out. That's what I call a spicy meat the ball. Alright, now as a, comes the traditional part. Now we're just going to have to stew these bad boys away in our homemade tomato sauce. Yes, that's right, homemade tomato sauce. You're looking for a recipe? Look right up top. Boom, chef seats. We got a recipe right here for you. All in. One, two, three, four, five, six, pop, 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 pop. All on into the party. That's right. Yep, that, yep, and we didn't forget about you. And once again, our homemade tomato sauce. Click the link above. Check out the video. I think you're going to really love it. It's really fresh and tasty. So now at this point, we're not going to have to simmer this for three hours, old school style. No worries. We got this nice and quick for you. So give this a good little mix. Bring this up to a simmer. Put the lid on it, and we're going to simmer it for 15 minutes. That's right, 15 minutes, the meatballs are done, guys. Check this out. Oh, yeah. These bad boys are so succulent and flavorful. Yeah, I wish that you could smell this right now. All right, you know what time it is. Let's plate it up. So grab your favorite plate, 
toss a few meatballs in. We're going big today. So we're going to do one, two, three. You know what? Let's do four of these meatballs. Oh, yeah. And, of course, a little bit more sauce. You know what? If you got any garlic bread, <laughs> this would be delicious to be served with it as well. Let me give you a better view. Some fresh shaved Parmigiano Reggiano. See how paper thin that is? Oh yeah, that's just gonna be a nice, gentle, extra touch to the dish. Of course, a little fresh basil at the end, and you know what? Extra virgin olive oil. That's just gonna add that additional flavor to it as well. You know what? I really like this one. That is a nice to meet the ball. I'm really excited to share with you how Chef Seats we like to make our homemade Italian American meatball dish. Of course, just like always, here's the recipe as found. Let me know if you have any changes or different suggestions of how you like to do yours. Just like always, thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends.